right, guys, I'm going to try to piece together a video for you guys that was almost about a month ago happened. Um, it was my first time using the burner, and I just wanted you guys to see it and maybe help you guys out. I'm sorry for the political stuff in the video. Um, no, I probably shouldn't have got political, but at the time, I was just... A lot of stuff was going through my mind at the time, and I just got political on a few things. Alright, hold on a second, let me start this up. Hi guys, this is the Burner HD XL. It's a self-defense weapon, and I usually carry it all the time with me. I got other weapons, but um, the video that you're about to see right now is it's being used. Luckily, I had in some nylon balls. They hurt real bad, but I got some balls that got ordered that I got a couple of days after this accident that's hard-coated and got a steel ball inside, and they're a lot heavier and will do a lot more damage. So I'm glad that um I didn't have it because I felt bad about shooting the guy that I shot. Okay, um you guys are about to see the video, but um I'm gonna tell you leading up to the video what was going on. Um my dog woke me up and I heard a little bit of noise outside my truck. So out the passenger window um I got a way too much shit in my truck. Anyway, I I was cleaning my truck earlier and I put a lot of stuff in the front seat and well, my front seat's out, but um, I got a little nightstand thingy and, and I had a bunch of backpacks. So you couldn't really see in my truck. Anyway, like I said, my dogs woke me up. This was early in the morning, um, I think around six something or something like that. Sun's barely out. And I see somebody looking in my truck through the window. It looked like they're trying to break in. And remember, like I said, I'm fresh woke up. So I'm not all the way clear in my mind. All I see is somebody about to break in my truck. So first thing I do is I'm looking at the fool. And then when I seen them going in between the truck and trailer, I'm grabbing. I was looking for the pistol anyway. And I grabbed it. It was up in my dad's. My dad's fucked up to sleep. I grabbed it real quick and jumped out in my boxers. This was how sleep I was. I didn't even realize I jumped out in my boxers until afterwards. But um, in between the truck and trailer, he was right there and I let off a couple of shots. And you listen real good, you hear the shots. It'll go, you, it's not loud like a fire alarm, but you can hear the shots and then you can hear them um, go, uh -uh. Know, and that's that's universal language in any when you 
Okay, guys, I'm pausing this right here so I can get to the video of me um, shooting. You won't actually see me shoot him, but you will see me getting out. And, and that's the inside video because I got an inside camera and an outside camera. And it will show the outside camera of him holding his ribs and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to pause this real quick, get that part of the video ready. And then I'm going to go back to this video. Uh, it's a lot of, kind of, not a lot, but I think it's like four more minutes. And some of it stuff is political. And I wasn't going to put it on YouTube and stuff. I'm not really that political. But there's some things that just really need to be mentioned that I said in this video that um, I just want out there. Okay, I'm going to pause this. Okay, this is the inside of the truck and me where I'm actually looking at him. He can't see me because that stuff packed up in the window. But I'm seeing him and I'm about to actually, um, well, you guys already know. So I'm going to play it. And you guys got to really listen to the sound um, on the video. I can hear it good, but you might not be able to hear it. Um, there's a two sounds that the burner makes. You can hear the sound and you can hear him in the background going, uh! Here we go. Okay, now this is gonna be the outside of the vehicle and as you can see over here we got the border patrol right there with illegal aliens right there <clears throat> the reason why I didn't see all this too is because I had my curtain pulled my curtain in the truck is pulled on one side on the side right the driver's side so I couldn't even see out I didn't think of looking behind the curtain or anything so like I said I was drowsy and all focused on this fool that looked like he's trying to break in a truck but this is the outside of the same video you just seen and the inside see up top right here it's all happening at one time I'm putting them both together so you can see here so you can see him real quick walking away look he's like he don't want no problems i'm cool he's, he hold, see he was holding his, his chest he's like i'm cool i'm, I'm gonna pause this and re rewind that real quick there my stupid ass out there i don't because i was like what the fuck i didn't know what was going on all right guys we're gonna go through this one more time this shit hold on let's play again He didn't say it out loud, but that's what he was thinking, and I, I knew what he was thinking right there. He was like, cool, I'm, 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 uh, I'd rather deal with these police, they ain't gonna shoot me with these hard ass balls. Okay, so, um, anyway, I'm gonna pause this one more time and get back to the other little part, the political part with the burner, and then the ending part. Okay, about to start the this video back up with the kind of political shot stuff. Him. Does he deserve to be shot? Kinda, yeah, because you shouldn't be looking at nobody's trucks or going in between the trucks because the person don't know. I had no idea he was just trying to get away from the um, La Migra, the Border Patrol. You know, everybody has their opinion about Border Patrol and illegal aliens and like that. My opinion is, if they're coming over here to do good, to work hard and support their family, fine. I have no problem with them doing it illegally or legal wise. 
some miracle, all this, you know, illegal aliens coming over and doing this and doing that, taking our jobs and all that. At one point, your ancestor was a legal alien that came over here and took the country from the Indians. So, and I'm, I'm sorry to get all up on that kind of like political with that, but basically, too, I wanted to mention about police. You know, people always defund the police and everything like that. Be honest with you, me personally, I don't believe in defunding the police. I believe in defunding and getting rid of the crooked ass and racist ass police. That's what I'm about. We need more good police officers out here in this world. Not less police officers. More good police officers. Now the racist ass motherfuckers and the crooked ass motherfuckers, we don't need them police. Fuck them. You know, that's how I see it. Also, you know, um, hold on, I gotta pause this one. I feel like this. Anybody that's in authority, judge, police, social workers, anybody that could ruin your life, they shouldn't be allowed to be in that position unless they go to a thorough background, a down home lie detectors test and everything else to make sure they're not racist that includes blacks mexicans anybody of color that's racist against another race if you're racist against another race you should not have a job of authority where you could ruin somebody's life or in someone's life plain and simple okay um uh, I don't think I apologize yet, but hey, the guy, if you ever see this video, the guy that I shot, hey man, if you're up and cool guy, whatever, you make it back to California, um, message me on this YouTube, you know, I, I owe you, I definitely owe you a dinner and, and probably some drinks and stuff like that, if you're a good guy. Now, if you was coming over here to commit crimes or being over here before committing crimes, then, um, pretty much fuck you and you know you just you definitely deserve that that shot if that's what you're up to but if not man hit hit me up all you dinner all you you know i help you out if i can you know because i really did feel bad about shooting you when you was just trying to get away i guess from the la migra i thought you was trying to break in um, what else? What else do I have to say? Oh yeah, guys. Like I said, this 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 thing. It, you know, I I got another self defense gun. That's hold on. That's my shipment calling. I gotta pause this. So I gotta. I'm doing this shit. Okay. Now these I got a uh, probably four or five days ago after the um using the burner on the guy he luckily i didn't have these in there that's that burner max so uh, he would have been incapacitated if i hit him a few times in the chest with that or one time in the chest with these <coughs> that's a 400 um piece bottle i didn't use a few of them already on a um, on an individual I didn't get video of that I wish I did but at the time it was no he had a knife in his hand and, and it was unexpected kind of so but um these are the hard balls they're like three times as hard as the kinetics so I'm gonna do a video hopefully within a week of these balls, the binder kinetic balls, and some nylon balls that I got. And probably I'll do a, one or two of those, but those damn things are expensive. Just um, 
this jar cost me like twelve hundred and something dollars. Um, I actually been listing some on eBay, listing the five packs on eBay. <laughs> the five packs that you get from Burnout or other places, they come in a little container that kind of sucks. I actually bought some um some rounds from Pepper Ball, the Pepper Ball ones, and they came to me in I guess the container a little container that it was in was getting tossed around or whatever and they were just already exploded so um, the ones I'm putting on eBay they'll be put in a, a nicer secure container anyway like I said um, he's just lucky I didn't have these at the time um, or those hard balls the, I, I believe these hard balls are gonna put some real pain on somebody on Amazon the people said they were a lot harder hurt a lot more anyway right now I'm actually getting a burner out my little case that I have for it to show you guys how I pack my first magazine i keep two extra magazines on my personal lease i got six magazines all together but i keep at least two on me besides the one that's in inside the um launcher and i'm saying launcher right now i, I mentioned pistol because i'm used to saying pistol but yeah launcher um this is how i load mines up i got the kinetic one round kinetic actually I um, mean two rounds there's one already locked in the chamber but there we go I got three pepper balls some max after that and then there's one in the is dark in my truck right now but that lets you know right there that there's one in the chamber right here when this is up in the air whoops can you see it whoops right there when that is up that lets you know there's one in the chamber when it's down flush that lets you know it's empty uh, pause this one last time all right lucky I didn't step up with this bad boy that would have put his ass on the ground for sure. That's shooting um 50, I think it's 52 jewels or something. 50, it's at least 50 jewels is shooting. Yeah.